So we're going to talk about what this vortex is. It, we know it sounds like another fairy tale that man has a wife that he calls Abraham and <laughs> she stands on the stage and points at the floor and, and shouts at us in a sort of very determined way to make us believe that there's something over there. <laughs> but we want you to get the concept of this vibrational reality that if you will feel your way to it, you can train your frequency to it. And when you do, the manifestational evidence will reveal itself to you constantly. So this vortex is a vibrational state of being. And it's where the larger part of you is, this non-physical part of you. And it's where the vibrational version of everything that you want has already been amassed. Now, as you stand in your physical reality, you've done such an incredible job of describing it and framing it up and talking to each other about it. What you see is an interpretation of vibration, but because you see it, it has more realness to you. What you hear is just an interpretation of vibration, but because you're hearing it, it has a realness to you. And so you are not all that excited about considering the realities that you can't translate. And yet when your dog hears something that you don't hear, you don't, you little fraud, <laughs> you little faker, you little fake hearer. I know you're not hearing anything and I know you're not smelling that either because I don't hear it and I don't smell it. Therefore it isn't, you don't say that to your dog because you accept that your dog is translating vibration differently than you are. And in many cases, it's a really good thing. You might want to hear what they're hearing, but you don't want to smell what they're smelling. So you accept that there are different degrees of vibrational interpretation. And we're just wanting to alert you to the fact that you have the ability to vibrationally be aware of things that you often are not. And your emotions have been giving you that feedback, but you have come to disregard your emotions. And we really want to awaken within you a determination that you care about how you feel because how you feel is literally your indicator of how much that is in your vortex, which includes the larger part of you and everything you want and all of the cooperative components and pathways to the manifestation of everything you want. This vortex contains everything that you really are and everything that you want, and you can only feel your way into it. When you care about the way you feel, that is your indicator that you are moving in the direction of what you're wanting. Some of you have been listening to us for a while. You know that we've been telling you that you create your own reality. Those words were fashioned by Jane Roberts as she received that block of thought from Seth. You create your own reality. And Jerry and Esther, when they heard those words, Jerry was beside himself. Create my own reality. How exhilarating is that? And then he spent years trying to figure out how do I create my own reality? When Esther began receiving Abraham, these were the questions Jerry wanted to know. How do I create my own reality? And we say, you are offering a vibration which equals your point of attraction. And everything in the universe is responding to that vibrational signal that you are putting out there. And you are putting it out there, whether you know that you are or not. And most everyone you know is therefore creating by default because they have no clue what they're doing with their vibrational point of attraction. They're just getting stuff back in response to it, noting what they're getting back, cataloging it and pigeonholing it and complaining about some of it and being happy about some of it. But almost no one feels real creative control about their point of attraction. So we began to break down for Jerry to help him to understand these basic laws of the universe. We wanted him to understand that you are the creator of your own reality because you are the offerer of a vibration. And now we are saying to you all of these years later, you are the offerer of a vibration, but there are two vibrational aspects to the vibration that you are offering. There's who you really are and all that you've evolved to. And there's whatever you've got going on because of what you're focused upon right here and now. 
and the emotions that you feel are your indicator of how well this rendezvous is going if you feel wonderful if you feel excited if you feel blissful if you feel energized if you feel passion if you are thrilled if you feel interested you're in sync with who you really are there's no resistance in your physical vibrational offering and things are going very well for you you're allowing your body to thrive your mind is working fast you're thriving in all respects but if you are feeling ornery if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling angry if you're blameful or guilty those emotions are your indicator that there is a lot of discord going on within you that is not allowing you to mesh with who you really are so you're not allowing your alignment with the energy that creates worlds and with all that you are you're disallowing it or resisting it resistance is always what slows everything down you know that from your basic physics classes and so we want you to understand that you have these two vibrational aspects going on and your emotions are letting you know how much of you you are allowing so we've been talking for quite a long time with Jerry and with a handful of you in the beginning telling you that you create your own reality and now over time we've offered dozens and dozens of processes all with the intent of assisting you in becoming more deliberate in the direction of your thought but you cannot consistently be more deliberate in the direction of your thought unless you are factoring in your own emotional guidance system which is letting you know how in sync or not you are with all that you have become and this is the basic thing that you've really got to understand before anything else that we say will make any sense to you as you stand in this physical time space reality and you are emitting these improved requests these rockets of desire these rockets are received inside your vortex of creation by the larger part of you your inner being your source your soul the God within you and as that part of you receives that vibrational request it literally evolves to a new beingness. so every request causes an expanded version of you imagine every species every point of consciousness is making these requests and every point of consciousness is vibrationally expanding and evolving then as you stand in your physicalness and you find thoughts that allow you to harmonize with that expansion you feel the resonance of that expansion and that's what positive motion is if you are in vibrational disagreement you feel the resistance or the discord of your own expansion so what we are saying to you and we so want you to walk away remembering this every bit of negative emotion that you feel always means exactly the same thing and only one thing it means life caused you to expand and in your physical form you didn't take the expansion life keeps causing you to expand and as you expand then you really have no choice other than to take the expansion if you are to stay in vibrational alignment and therefore feel good